Introducing the IK control joint constraint. Um, if you were using IK controls back when they were first released into the beta, um, you can see how in one of these GIFs right here that on the right with no constraints, the extensions were pretty whack. I mean, you can see they're rotating incorrectly. Everything's looking really weird. Elbows are bending the wrong way, etc. But Roblox heard your complaints and they came out with this new IK control joint constraint and it looks very promising. Um, right now, you can only use them on ball socket and hinge constraints, but um, I'm pretty sure once it's fully released, you can use it with all types of constraints. Um, but these updates are a very good step for IK control. I mean, you can see already um, on the left with the actual constraints and limitations added, you can see how much of a, of a benefit these are to the IK control system. And I think People are going to be loving this. Um, this is a great fix to the original problem. Um, but there are some caveats to this beta version. It's that, like I said before, it's only ball socket and hinge constraints right now. And also, they only work. Um, they only work on the Motor 60s right now. They don't work on Bones yet, but they will be by the time of full release. Um, people are receiving this very well. Um, people love this. Uh, Riley says this is a very good update. It's really nice to see IK becoming easier to use, especially since constraints are a familiar format for most developers. Um, you already knew, like when you're even in the animation editor, you can use the IK control, but now they're adding it to full on runtime environments, which is very nice. And this is going to be a game changer in terms of configuring the IK control to whatever however you want, setting limitations, if you even want it to bend abnormally like it is on the right, or if you want it to bend in a specific way, like it is on the left. So yeah, very, very happy about this update. I think people are going to love this. Let me know what you think in the comments below.